Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 24 of the tactics game in Unity. Today we want to expand our RPG system a little and change it to be much more closer to inspiration of the series, Fire Emblem. So in the Fire Emblem you have attributes which affects your stats. This line of variables consists of stats and character information. What we want to introduce is attributes which will be used to calculate the statistical variables. So let's make a public class called character attribute. Inside this character attributes we will define six attributes. Our game will have I know we're lacking some of the Fire Emblem attributes, we might add them later on in the development. Let's make an empty constructor, because we don't need to initiate anything in this class. Now in the character create a new variable of type character attributes called attributes. Then create method called init, which will be responsible for initializing the character class. And inside, to complete the initialization, we need to create new instance of the character attributes. Call init on start. To be able to see our attributes in the inspector, let's serialize by adding attribute serializable. Yeah, that's confusing. Attribute, attribute. C sharp attribute which affects the class below him is inside those square brackets. It applies some kind of effect to the class below him. Good. So now what we want to do is to utilize attributes to calculate values of the character stats. For example, let's take the damage. Right now it directly states the current value of damage. Let's make a method which return damage, which will return damage which our character can deal based on the type of the damage this character deal. We can get the attribute responsible for damage calculation. For example, for physical we will take strength and for magical damage we will take magic attribute. So now if we select our character and set the strength to, for physical attack to be 100 and magic for magical attack uh, to be 100, 
we will do exactly 100 damage by boss character. Oh, we have an issue, is that on the start we are reinitializing the class, which nullify our attributes which we set in the inspector. So let's initialize the class only if our attributes are null, meaning that there is no setting set in the inspector. We will do init on start if the character attributes are null. Good. But our character are still using flat armor value as their defensive stat. Similarly, we will create a new method called get defensive value. We need to pass the damage type so we can identify what kind of damage our character is receiving and calculate total defense of the character based on it. What we are doing right now is we are isolating the calculation of the values into the area, which you can easily find. If later on you need to change calculation of let's say how defensive armor works, you have exactly one place to look for it. Now let's use get defense value in the attack method. We actually can get rid of the switch statement. So we want to get the defense value from the target, based on the type of the damage the character which attacks this target is using. Now let's set the skeleton due defense high and launch the game. Now if I attack with the girl who have high physical strength, she will do little damage. Well, if I strike with girl who do magic, she will deal a lot of damage by passing physical resistance of the skeleton dude. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. Now let's expand our interface a little. Let's add HP bar. This is not going to be a very pretty UI additions, but for now it will just serve the purpose. We will be expanding on UI later on. Duplicate the bar to make the exact copy of the base for HP bar.
Recolor it. Add the slider component to the HP bar base and set the HP bar to be its fill object. This component will be used to use picture as a fill amount of the bar, sliding like this. Now inside the status panel script we want to make HP bar show HP. Make a serialized field for slider for HP bar. And in the update status, set max value of that slider and current value to be player HP. If the editor reference the HP bar and set the HP bar slider setting to be whole number, let's test this. You will see how HP bar will change the state, but it only updates the state if you move your mouse away for a moment. For now, call update status in the update. This is not very optimal, but we will deal with this optimization later on in the tutorial. Good, as you can see, it works, but the color is a little too bright. Let's make it darker. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you want to support me, link in the description. Special thank you to the Salt Hashdu, David Fahi, for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.